My name is Carolyn Roberts and I'm the first Professor of the Environment at Gresham. The post is funded by uh, Frank Jackson Foundation and so I'll be giving a series of lectures on various aspects of environmental management and the application of science. The, uh, the title of my uh, first six lectures, the group of first le six lectures, is Green Complexity, Science, Innovation and Society and I'm hoping to talk about the application of science and uh, the complex issues involved in tackling environmental problems and challenges because of the diversity of perspectives that individuals and organisations have on those challenges. I'm, I'm framing my lecture series by looking at what I've called wicked problems. That's not a, a, a new term, it's a term from the 1970s, but it introduces a number of the attributes of environmental challenges for example, the, the variety of different perspectives, the huge diversity amongst the stakeholders and the number of stakeholders, uh, the fact that everybody has an opinion, the fact that something that you instigate in one place at one time has an impact somewhere else at another time. Um, so, and there are other att attributes of those uh, wicked problems as well. So I'm taking a series of examples of different perspectives. So I'm going to be talking about uh, the shorthand being greenness. I'm going to be talking about greenness in the city, uh, in the countryside, uh, from business perspectives, from the perspectives of uh, higher education, uh, in professional bodies, um, and uh, looking at uh, voluntary organisations, in particular debates around local and global. And I'm going to approach that by using particular uh, areas of research and consultancy that I've developed myself over quite a long career in this area. These themes are really important because they affect everybody uh, and not only us but our children and our neighbours locally and internationally as well. So everybody has a perspective and rightly so. Everybody needs to be heard uh, and then we need to take decisions. We, we need actually to act and we need to act on the basis of the best information that we have uh, not just the politics, let's say. Um, so I have a particular uh, interest in, in the application of science, so that's pretty important to me and will feature in, in the lecture series. Gosh, the most exciting thing about the, the upcoming lecture series is I think it's an opportunity to me, for me to talk to new audiences. Uh, I've worked in the past in academia. I work at the moment in an organisation that links businesses with universities uh, to to, to, to stimulate, catalyse new environmental technologies. Um, but I, and I have done some work with local authorities, but the opportunity to bring together diverse audiences in the City of London is, is a really exciting one, slightly daunting as well, I have to say. I'm, I'm very much hoping that people that join the audience are be actually more than an audience. I'm very much hoping for some wider engagement and I am starting to consider the possibility of using social media to take opinions from people after one lecture and incorporate them into the next. Uh, I want to challenge people to think about things differently, in particular to think beyond the kind of nimby, tree-hugging uh, approach that many people see in environmental uh, issues to see that these can be opportunities for genuine improvements in people's quality of life, in our relationships with other people, in our international relationships and in the prosperity and, and health of our country really and, and the planet too. During the course of my lectures I'm hoping actually to get better feedback from wider groups of people on what they actually feel about environmental challenges, about environmental science and the application of that science, whether they see risk or opportunity, uh, whether they, if we took an issue, for example, like um, manipulating the climate. Now, I'm not talking here about climate change. Uh, I'm certainly a believer that, uh, in the fact that uh, humanity is influencing the climate. It's not the only influence, but it's certainly a significant one. But I'm also talking about the possibility is that as we start to consider things like geoengineering, actually manipulating the climate deliberately. Now, I'm very interested in testing out those kind of ideas. We probably can do it, but should we do it? And what do people think about that? <laughs>